Welcome back everyone, and in today's video we are going to take a brief look at intervals. I'd like to first begin by answering the question, what are intervals? Very basic, very simple answer, but intervals are just going to be the distances between notes. That's it, the distances between notes. Now this isn't going to be a physical distance, this is going to be an auditory distance, like frequencies. So distances between notes. And we tend to look at intervals in two categories. One would be general intervals and specific intervals. We'll start with general intervals. So general intervals are if we said something like a second, a third, a fourth. Okay, so let's look at a C major scale, writing this out. Okay, and if I just were to number these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going from here to here, we would call that a second, a third, a fourth, so on and so forth. You get the idea. This is a fifth, this is a sixth, this is a seventh, and this is an eighth or an octave. And those are general intervals. Specific intervals is if I had a very specific name for them. So instead of a second, I might call it, well, let's say for second, I could say something like, you could use terms like major second or minor second. You might also hear things like augmented. I'm just gonna write aug, augmented second. And you might also hear things like diminished, and I'll just write dim, diminished second. So those are specific intervals. So that's sort of the difference. Uh, specific intervals are specific. They tell you exactly what kind of second you are dealing with versus a general interval just kind of points you in the right direction. The way you might kind of think about this as an analogy is if I said drive north, well, we all have a general idea about where north is at. And on the other hand, I might give you a very specific coordinate set, right? And a coordinate set wouldn't just be well drive north. Uh, it would be very a very, very specific exact location on Earth. And that's the difference between general and specific intervals. And there's a good reason why we use them. And so let's take a look at why we have intervals. And so one of the things we want to consider is we, there is a major problem with half steps. And so here's the issue. If I said, well, if here's a C note and I said, well, you know, what note is a half step away? And well, that's easy. You'd go, well, gee, you know, a half step away would just give us a C sharp or, you know, maybe a D flat. Okay. And that's a half step. Very, very easy to do. Well, you know, what about two half steps? And two half steps would get us to D. And then if I said, well, you know, three half steps and we'd have E flat, right? And so here to here, this is a half step. This is two half steps. This is this point now we've covered three half steps. But the issue is, well, what if I said something like, you know what, six half steps. And off the top of my head, I don't know. I actually don't know. Uh, what if I said seven half steps? or four half steps. Those are things that I don't know. They don't make sense to me because they're starting to get kind of large. And I could keep going. What if I said 10 half steps? What if I said, you know, four and a half steps? You can see where this is going. It gets really difficult to talk about intervals in terms of only half steps. And so we really have to have another system. Okay, so now that we've sort of understood that problem, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, an interesting example here. So let's start with the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. And once again, just numbering these, I know we already did this, but let's, let's do it again just for repetition's sake. And what I'd like to do is point out a couple of things here. Let's look at this, and that would be considered a second. And if I looked at C to E, that would be considered a third, right? And if I looked at, ah, we'll do one more. If I looked at C to F, that's considered to be a fourth, okay? Now, what if I did the C minor scale? So C minor would have these notes. F, G, A flat, B flat and C. 
Now, if I look here, oh, and actually let's label this as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now this would be considered a second. This would be considered a third. And this would be considered a fourth. And hopefully right here, you, you have a problem with this because we're calling, okay, well, C to D, that's a second. Yeah, sure, we have a second here, but now we're calling C to E a third, and but here it's C to E flat is a third. And this is the exact idea of what's wrong with using general intervals, right? So if I say a third, what kind of third am I talking about? Clearly, clearly, this third over here, clearly this third, is not the same third as this third, right? Because that's an E and this is an E flat. They're obviously different specific intervals, but they have the same general intervallic distance. In future videos, we are going to take a look at specific intervals uh, a little more closely.